So there's been a lot of negativity in the space recently. I feel like a lot of people are worried about AI and the effects that it will have on people's jobs, especially software engineers. The market's also very bad right now. People can't get jobs, people are getting laid off. So I really want this video to be a positive light in the community. And I really want this to actually give people hope that they should learn to code and the ways that coding can change your life. And so to do that, I wanna to talk to three of my YouTube friends, all who have taken different paths when learning to code. And all of them, I would say, are better for it. Yeah, so coding has really been a part of my life for a very long time. I started learning how to code when I was 12. I was super fortunate that I came across it. I don't even know exactly how. And it was really the first thing for me that was really challenging. Uh, not to brag, but as a student, as a kid in elementary school, things were just really easy for me. I never really felt challenged in school. When I found coding, this was the first thing that was actually really, really difficult. I wasn't a natural at it. I wasn't good at it. And I had to figure out how to learn it on my own. And that really got me addicted to it quite early on. And I spent hours every single day after class just trying to learn how to code, learning things that you guys could probably learn in just a few minutes. But for me, back being 12 years old was really, really tough. And we didn't have the same resources back in 2012 that we did today. Now, what that taught me, though, was the confidence to know that I could actually figure something out, that I could determine how to do this. I could learn from really any type of resource. And that's really uh, what's carried through my life today, knowing that I can figure anything out that I wanna figure out, just a matter of how long it's gonna take me, and knowing the type of resources that work really well for me, and the type of learning that I kinda need to do to get a specific skill or to understand some specific topic. Now beyond that, once I started getting pretty good at coding and I got into university, I realized that there's a huge business behind this. I could actually make money from coding. Yeah, I could go get a job, but I also could do this on my own. So that's when I started my YouTube channel, I started making tutorials online, and that completely transformed my life, not only from the money I was making from those kinds of tutorials, but the type of people that I met. For example, I'm in a room right now with three other tech coding YouTubers, and I've met all kinds of incredible people because I've had some presence online, I've had this skill, uh, and people have reached out to me to do coding stuff for them. So now fast forward where coding has really been my career for the past five years, and I've been super fortunate to make a lot of money and really be able to transform my life beyond anything that I ever could have imagined. Back when I was quite a bit younger, I used to think, you know, the dream is just to have a great job, make $100,000 a year or more, live in a big city. But since having coding as a skill, I've just discovered this level of freedom where I can wake up whenever I want. I can go and do whatever I want to do. I can travel. I can work from anywhere in the world. I actually just recently moved to Dubai, which is only possible because of such a freeing skill. Now, I'll just end this by saying, I know a lot of people are worried that the kind of golden days of coding are behind us. They think AI is taking over. You're never going to be able to be a developer. I think that really couldn't be further from the truth. Yes, if you're a complete beginner, AI can probably do the same things that you can do. But as you go up the experience chain, one, two, three, four years, anyone who's been coding for a little bit of time now knows that they can't easily be replaced by AI and no huge companies are slaughtering their entire workforce and bringing in something like Dev and AI that you guys have probably heard about online. Until that starts happening, I wouldn't be too concerned. My focus would just be getting better and better and better. In any kind of field, when you start out as a beginner, there's always something that can replace you really quickly. You gotta get beyond that first, second, third year of experience before you start becoming really, really valuable. So just strive for that. So if I were to go back in time and I had to pick a career to start right now with no experience, coding would definitely be one of, if not the ones that I would choose to learn. And that's really because of the freedom that it gives you. Yes, it probably take me a little bit longer to get to the level where I'm gonna make a lot of money from coding, but I still think it's totally worth it. And really off the top of my head, I can't think of many other skills or many other fields I could go into that would give me this level of freedom and allow me to have the life that I have today. As software engineers, we're only as good as the tools we use, and that's exactly where the sponsor of this video, Bright Data, can help you. Web scraping publicly available data on your own can become an absolute nightmare thanks to things like CAPTCHAs, rate limiting, and more. And that's exactly what Bright Data helps you solve. Bright Data's advanced infrastructure has over 72 million residential IPs, allowing you to rotate your IP address and effectively give you ungated access to publicly available data. Bright Data actually has a scraping browser that they provide that works with things like Selenium and Puppeteer. It's an incredibly powerful tool and just within a couple minutes and a few clicks within their browser, you can actually start accessing publicly available data and use it within your own applications. Bright Data also gives you different levels of control with the data sets that you create. You can either programmatically create your own data sets and choose what to scrape that's publicly available, or you can use their freshly validated data sets if you don't want to use code on your own. In addition to this, Bright Data also provides top residential proxy locations in over 195 countries and is trusted by many different businesses throughout the world. 
So if your applications need data to be powered, which chances are they do, feel free to head over to the link in the description to try out Bright Data on your own. And thanks again to Bright Data for sponsoring this video. Coding has changed my life in a lot of different ways. Uh, when I was in high school, I went to a really good high school, but a lot of the people didn't really respect me as an intellectual. I was kind of the class clown and it felt really bad and I didn't have a lot of confidence. So when I went into college, I made it my goal. I went in for computer science and I got on the Dean's list, I got straight A's. And as I learned how to code, it really gave me this confidence because it made me think that I'm a smart person. And then throughout high school and college, I had to work all these random minimum wage jobs. I was a cashier, I worked at an after school program. I did all these different kinds of things that I didn't really like doing. And I was always thinking, well, is there a way out of this? And throughout coding, getting internships and realizing the earnings potential, I was really shocked at how much success I could actually achieve. And uh, coding just gives you the tools to change your life completely. Now, besides the fact that you can earn a lot of money, which is great, I also really like the fact that I used to think a little bit more creatively in a way where I didn't think logically enough about things and I made bad decisions because of that. And just coding over time and problem solving over time, it kind of hardwires your brain in a way where you're thinking more logically and making more rational decisions, which will help you in a lot of different aspects of life. And then on top of that, throughout coding, I've been able to work in so many different niches of coding. There's so many different things you could do. Uh, I've been a teacher, I've been a developer advocate, I've been able to do social media, build a whole social media brand around it. I've been able to do freelance stuff, work on my own and uh, achieve complete self-employment through learning to code which is great because now I get to make my own hours, work for myself. But originally when I went into college for computer science, I was kind of thinking like, oh, the ideal thing that's gonna happen is I'm gonna make six figures and maybe work in an office nine to five and just make really good money. And I've achieved so much more than that because there's so much opportunity from learning the code. Now the job market isn't as good as it used to be right now, but I don't think that should discourage you from learning to code because there's a lot of reasons for that. And it's not specifically this AI thing that people are constantly talking about. I think that people are worried about AI a little bit too much when it comes to coding jobs. If AI is gonna replace coding jobs, it's probably gonna replace a whole bunch of other jobs too. And this shouldn't discourage you. It's not gonna replace all programmers. I think mostly people are just saying things like this because the job market's not as good as it used to be because the job market was incredible. It was like amazing like two years ago. There's a lot of reasons for that. I think it will get better over time. And I think it's still pretty good now if you put in the time and effort. And if you work really hard, you're still gonna be able to find success with coding. My general thoughts around AI is that I haven't seen anyone be replaced by AI. Like I don't know any software engineers personally that have been replaced by AI. I haven't heard about it. So I'm not really going to worry about it until I see it happening. Also too, even if AI does start to replace jobs, I think there will always be a demand for really good engineers. There, there will always be a demand for really competent engineers. So yeah, maybe if you only know HTML, CSS, and a little bit of JavaScript, you'll certainly be replaced. But if you can really get in the thick of it and know the intricate details of a language or a framework or just deep computer science principles, I think that your job will be secure. Like if you're a top 5% or a top 10% engineer, you'll never have to worry about AI replacing your job. So you should always try to strive to be the best possible developer and programmer you can be and look at AI as a way that can increase your output, make you a better programmer. I don't regret learning how to code at all. And even if AI did replace my job today, Coding has really just helped me think better. It has made me a better problem solver. Like any endeavor that I've taken on in my life has been because coding has taught me how to break down larger problems into a much smaller scale. And being able to break down a large problem can be applied to anything. I applied it to my YouTube channel. I applied it to when I wanted to get healthy, you know, and go to the gym and, and become in better shape. I started my YouTube channel. I started building a coding community because of programming, just because I love this community so much. And if I was starting over today with like this looming threat of AI taking over my job, I wouldn't be scared just because I thoroughly enjoy coding. And I think if you really enjoy something, it's more than just about the money. You're doing it because it's your purpose. It's your passion. 
Also, I like to build stuff from the ground up. And with coding, I can build something from nothing. And I think that's just so cool to me. And with coding, I also get into a flow state. So if you're somebody who just thoroughly enjoys coding, you shouldn't be worried about this looming threat of AI or a bad job market or whatever it is. So coding has changed my life in a lot of ways. First off, it set me up financially. Before I started coding, I was working minimum wage jobs, pushing carts, stocking shelves. And now I'm actually making the kind of money that I always wanted to, the kind of money that I always dreamed of when working those jobs. And then aside from that, it's just helped me become way better at solving problems, at breaking down larger problems in a much smaller scale and tackling those problems. Also coming from the non-traditional route as a self-taught programmer and learning how to code on my own and getting a job without getting a formal computer science degree has really built a lot of confidence in myself and makes me feel like I can tackle any problem. I can take on any challenge in my life as long as I really want that thing. So that's how coding has changed my life. It's changed it for the better and I certainly don't regret it. So those are three people that coding has totally changed their life. They've all taken different outlooks on life because of coding or they've all gone through different routes because of their journey to learn how to code. And so I really think that hopefully this is a light in a dark time. I really think that there's a lot of fear mongering around AI and people losing jobs and bad markets. And I hope that this serves as a little bit of hope or inspiration for why you should learn to code and how it might be able to change your life.